Originally described from Japan, Ropalocyphum rufiabdominale is considered to be heterocious and holocyclic in its age and sphere, meaning it changes between hosts in the winter and summer, and changes between reproducing sexually and parthenogenetically, usually between prunus species and various herbaceous plants. In warmer climates, including cultivation facilities, it is most commonly anholocyclic, reproducing parthenogenetically, but there is evidence of the typical behavior in some places. Like all aphids, the rice root aphid feeds on phloem, with a mouth part that penetrates the plant. Like many aphids, it has a flying form, which allows a population to adapt to shifts in the environment like a change in nutritional suitability of a host, or a change in temperature. Not only can this species be parthenogenetic, like many pests, such populations also have telescoping generations, wherein an individual births live young that are themselves pregnant. Because of this trait, a single individual can create a population by itself with increased rapidity, especially in optimal conditions. In a 1998 study by Tsai and Leo, it was found that the optimal temperature range of the rice root aphid population investigated on Aurea sativa Mars was between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius, as the intrinsic rate of natural increase was highest and both population doubling and mean generation times were shortest at 0.432, 1.61 days, and 8.7 days respectively. Survival rate was suggested to decrease significantly below 10 degrees Celsius, and development time was not successful at 35 degrees Celsius. Being heterocious, it has winter and summer hosts. Winter hosts include many prunus species, like bush cherry, Chinese plum, peach, king cherry, but also apples, flowering quince, pear, jet bead, and rowan. Summer hosts include a wide assortment of plants, 52 genera across 15 families, with the most common being poaceae, or the grasses, such as wheat, cereal rye, rice, sorghum, oats, and barley. Non-grass hosts include solanaceae, like peppers and potatoes, and, apparently, cannabis has become infamously afflicted. It is also associated as a vector of barley yellow dwarf virus. Most soil-borne pests are difficult to deal with because they are inherently cryptic and their presence may be nonspecific or not apparent unless specifically sought during crop scouting, which can be difficult to do non-destructively. The rice root aphid has noticeable above-ground and below-ground forms, which makes detection more likely. While there are arthropod biocontrol agents that can feed on these above-ground populations, such as lacewing larvae, there aren't any arthropod biocontrols that will penetrate the substrate to control the hypogeal population. The entoma pathogenic fungus Buveria bassiana and several chemical compounds marketed for aphid pests may be effective if drenched, such as pyrethrin or azadiractin. Heavy infestations are incredibly arduous to control, and sometimes it is most economical, long-term, to clear an area of hosts for a length of time before replanting and increasing biosecurity measures for the next round of crops, rather than continually apply pesticides and biocontrol agents that might only suppress a population, especially if you don't know where it's coming from. For this reason, cultivators of suitable host crops must be diligent with assessing potential ingress and proactively scout, and possibly call, potential hosts in and around the cultivation space.